What's up you guys, welcome to the video. I know this is kind of a weird start. I'm actually at my girlfriend's house. Look at the uh, the view outside right now. It's super pretty. Uh, but I just kind of wanted to intro this video because <laughs> I did not have enough time to intro it before the workout because we got there like literally with like three minutes to spare. So the workout that we're doing is Murph. I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar. If you're not, what Murph is, it is a one mile run and then 100 pull-ups. I'm doing CrossFit <laughs> kipping pull-ups. I know that people are gonna comment about that, but that's what I'm doing. Uh, 200 push-ups, 300 air squats, and then another one mile run. Now just for some context, this is my third time ever doing the workout and my second time doing it the way that I do it today. So the way that I did it today was completely unpartitioned. So I went through the one mile run, I did the 100 uh, pull-ups, the 200 push-ups, 300 air squats, one mile run. I didn't break that up at all. I just went straight through it like that. And I wore the 20 pound vest. Now I was, Curious how this would go because I have not been doing much strength training. I haven't been doing even as much CrossFit as I would have been in the past because as a lot of you guys know, I am training for the marathon right now uh, and that's coming up in less than a week now, which is crazy, but I have been doing a lot of running. Uh, so I was curious to see how it would go this year. And before we get into the video, I just wanna say these shirts right here, the new Work For Change t-shirts, they are live. If you're watching this video, when it comes out, they're coming out at 12 Pacific Standard Time on the 20th. 28th. So if you guys want to check those out, I'll put a link in the description for that. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thank you so much for watching. All right, here we go. It's time to do more. One mile run, 100 pull-ups, 200 push-ups, 300 air squats, one mile run. Let's do it. Last mile, this is the hardest part. The first like 400 meters after the 300 air squats. Whew. There we go. in pretty much just about 60 minutes, 60 minutes and 10 seconds. Ugh. So, I'm gonna be honest, that is actually not my fastest time doing Murph. My fastest time was about five minutes faster, that was last year. Um, I did it with the vest, did it the same exact way I did it today. Um, so, one thing, the run, the first run went way better, definitely getting better at running, obviously that makes sense with all the marathon training, but I've definitely noticed with the marathon training, I'm not doing one as much CrossFit and I'm not doing bodybuilding right now, so the push-ups felt a lot 
harder, which is fine. I was expecting things to be a little bit harder this year just because the style of training that I'm doing is different. But I will say I'm very happy, I, not to toot my own horn, but I was the first one to come in on the mile run, which that is not normal for me at all. Usually I'm one of the last people on the run. So I'm definitely making progress in some things, but you know, when some things go up, a lot of times something other things go down. And for me, that was definitely the push-ups. The push-ups were by far the hardest thing. They took up the most time. I was able to move through the air squats fine. I was able to move through the push of the pull-ups fine. It was just those push-ups were definitely difficult. So the reason that we do the Murph, for those of you that might not know, is for Lieutenant Michael Murphy, who in 2005, sadly was killed in action. He was a Navy SEAL. And I mean, from every, all accounts, he was a really, really good guy. And he was a really valuable member of the team. And then the reason that we do it on Memorial Day is, you know, it's a great workout to not just remember him, but remember all of the servicemen and women that have, you know, died in action, protecting our freedoms and our rights here in America. And honestly, it's just a really good workout. It's a lot of fun. You guys saw how many people were here at the gym. And it's just a really fun way to really challenge yourself. Like, normally I wouldn't push that hard probably on like a regular Tuesday or whatever it might be. But with this workout, it is very normal to want to push yourself really hard. And for me, I was like, thinking about it because I have the marathon coming up in literally six days and I was like should I be doing this workout but I I couldn't not it just it would feel really really weird for me to not do Murph so I had to do it and again it wasn't my best time but I put in as much effort as I could at the time and I'm happy with that so yeah it was a uh, it was a good workout it was a good day Obey the warning signs, and when there are flashing lights or wigwags, don't attempt to cross until they come to a complete stop. Set, look 